So this question says two variables, x and y, are related such that for each increase of 1 in the value of x, so let me just write that down, as x goes up by 1 unit, the value of y increases by a factor of 4. We'd have y going up by 4 units. So maybe some of you understand this structure here. Not important if you don't, but basically this is that. Um, x relates to, uh, relates to y in this way. So the question goes on to say, when x equals 0, y equals 200. So I know I have an ordered pair here, 0, 200. Which equation represents this relationship? So what relationship? We have two things that have been provided. We have the idea that when x goes up by 1, y should go up by 4, or 4 times that value. Um, 4 times, I should say. 4 times... And we know that when x is 0, y is 200. Well, I'm going to use this information just so I can come up with another um, ordered pair here. So I'm going to increase my x value by 1, right? So I'm going from 0 to 1. What would I expect my y value to be? Well, based upon what I've been told here, it should increase by a factor of 4. So instead of being 200, it should be now 800, right? 200 times 4. So here are two ordered pairs that I have that I can use to plug in to my answer choices. So I'm going to plug this information in to see which one fits the information we've been provided with. So I'm going to start off with my 0 and 200. If x were 200 here, I'm sorry, if x were 0 here, then 0 to the 200 power is still 0, and that does not equal 200, right? Again, we expect when x equals 0 that y is equal to 200. So since it does not happen here, since y is not 200 here, choice A is gone. For choice B, if x were 0, 200 to the 0 power is just 1. That is also not going to be equal to 200. It'll be equal to 4, so B is gone. For choice C, if x were 0, 0 to the 4th power is... Um, 0 to the 4th power is actually just 0. So 200 times 0 is 0. That's also not equal to 200. So C is gone, which means D has to be the right answer, but let's check it out. Um, if X were 0, 4 to the 0 power. Now anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So this is 1. And then 1 times 200 actually is equal to 200. So choice D must be the correct answer. I didn't even need to use this 1 and 800 because I was able to narrow down the correct answer by focusing on the information provided that says that when x is 0, y should be equal to 200.